Hi, this is Justin Nielsen with Investors Business Daily. And today, our tale of the trade is going to focus on volume. We're going to take a look at raw stores. Now, raw stores, as you can see here on the MarketSmith chart, was tracing this very nice cup with handle pattern. And you can see that with the pattern recognition feature on MarketSmith. The problem was that when it broke out of this pattern, it didn't have volume. Now, normally we like to see volume of at least 40 to 50% above average at a classic breakout, and it didn't have that here. So let's go ahead and zoom in, and we can take a little bit closer look on what exactly was going on with raw stores at that time. So you see how this was the right hand side of that handle as it got into that breakout period. And you can see that the price action looks very strong, but the volume was really kind of trickling off. Now, you really want to see that institutions are involved with your stock. Because institutions, they don't just make their purchase at one time. You know, they're, they're too large to do that. They make multiple purchases over time. So that can really help drive the stock price up, which if you're an owner, that's what you want to see, right? So the fact that it did not have that volume there was suspicious, but it didn't mean that it was something we couldn't still play as a swing trade. So a little bit after that breakout around 84.67, the low volume breakout, it consolidated a little bit and then it had another move to new highs. Now with Swing Trader, our entire volume component is a little different. It doesn't have to be above a 50-day average volume. It can just be larger than the consolidation. Sometimes it's the largest trading that you've seen in the last couple weeks. And in this case, when it broke into that new high territory, it didn't meet the volume requirement there either. It wasn't even close to being heavy trading compared to its recent activity. So again, this is something we were going to pass on. But just a few days later, and we did feel that it was good enough to keep on our watch list. So we did put this on our watch list for Swing Trader, the product, and we noted that we want to see some volume come into it as it got to new high ground. Now, the very next day, we saw a huge 2% move in price, and that really got our attention. But we also saw that there wasn't really volume accompanying it. So we sent an alert out to our Swing Trade uh, subscribers, and we told them, Look, we're going to wait on this a little bit just to see if some volume comes in. And within a couple hours, the stock actually went negative. The volume never came in. The stock went negative, and it was a pretty lousy reversal. You know, we don't like those bearish reverse reversals, especially to start a trade. So we ended up skipping this one. We didn't put it on as a triggered trade at all. And even though it didn't really do anything horribly wrong after that, this would have been three weeks of dead money. So that's not something we want to do. We want to be getting into stocks that have that huge potential for the big gains very quickly. And volume can be one of those critical components that lets you know that that's what the stock is going to do. So hopefully that's been helpful to you. Sometimes it's the trades that you don't do that are going to be the most useful for your own personal trading, keeping you away out of harm's way. Uh, so that's what happened with raw stores. For more information, you can always take a look at investors.com slash swing trader. That's our product. And you can also read some of the articles that we do, uh, a weekly column on swing trading that you'll find at investors.com. Thanks for watching.